you know, if you take the human evolutionary code, you know, you're living inside of a meat suit mind body, right? That um, was tuned millions of years ago. So our predilection for sugar, salt, fat were tuned millions of years ago when they were scarce, but here we are now when they're abundant. So we've got all these tunings, and you're living inside of it, and it can't really change. You don't really have a lot much optionality. So you're living inside of this thing. And if you made a map of every single string you could pull on this mind-body system to persuade it, if you could make a map of how could you addict a human body or a human mind, how can you pull on its sense of belonging? How can you make it feel like it's missing out? How could you uh, get it to do certain behaviors? How could you get it to think about certain things? How could you get it to make certain choices? So if you had a map of every single way that a human being could be manipulated, that was the first part of the study, the task. Second part of the study was, um, what, would it, uh, yeah, what would it mean to ethically persuade? So what, what, what does it, what's constituted in ethically pushing this human animal around in the world? And then the last question is values. Um, what are we pushing it around for? And who's to say? How do we know and we have values we can stand on, that we can actually persuade people in an ethical way? So I basically studied this topic, and I want to say that I didn't know what I was doing. I was basically trying to figure out this, this answer to this question of whether we want to or not, Google's going to bump its elbow, and Apple's going to bump its elbow, and Facebook's going to bump its elbow, and a billion people are just going to go in these different directions, right? Because when you, you, know, when you wake up in the morning, it's important just to set the context. You know, two billion people, they wake up in the morning, and the first thing they do is they like, check their phone. And we check it 150 times a day you know, in the bathroom, coffee line, going to sleep. Like, we spend a lot of time in these devices, and even when we're not uh, looking at the device, the thoughts that are in your mind right now are still pos you know, partly set by the time you did spend looking at the device. So we had this kind of 24-7 immersion in this environment. And I didn't know what I was doing in studying this question. I just found it to be fascinating and important and interesting. And here I am literally, whatever it is, three days, three years later. It's November 1st, 2017. And the US Congress is questioning Facebook, Google, and Twitter about exactly the stuff that I've been interested in for the last three years. Um, and I honestly find myself right now at the center of one of the most important and invisible problems, I think, in history, um, which is that it's not just that there's this system that's kind of bumping its elbows into people's psychology, but we gave this system a set of goals that are causing tremendous harm. 